Hey guys, welcome back. So in the previous videos, we looked at how we can create our first API request. And uh, once we send this request, how did we visualize the response in the Postman tool, right? Now we are going to look at one of the important concepts in um, API automation or simply developing any API, right? So we'll be looking at how you can replace uh, those static values which are using in the APIs with variables. And we are going to look at a specific variable which is called global variables, right? So we'll see how we can add the global variables in Postman, um, how you can use those variables in different places like your request URL or in your parameters, right? We will have a brief look at what are the different variable scopes available in Postman although we'll not be going in detail in this video, but at a later point of time, we'll look at each scope separately, right? And then we'll also discuss uh, about how you can choose a variable, uh, what is the best way of using a particular variable scope depending on your situation, right? So we'll look at all these uh, topics. So let's jump directly into Postman, right? And if you have seen my previous video, then we we use this request, right? We use this open weather API to send a request to get the weather condition for London city, right? And we got a response back also, okay? So let me send this request again and we can observe the response body here. So here we are getting all the weather details for London, right? Now, th let's observe this api request which is a get request and what are the things here which can be replaced with variables now the first question arises is why should i use variables right so this is serving my purpose why should i even use any variables here now say for example uh, this city right london now this um, city in this request might change um, at a later point of time, right? So we want to replace this with um, a different city. And say for example, you have different API requests which are using these parameters like London, uh, sorry. Yeah, so the Q equals to London and the app ID, right? So these are the two parameters and these are being used in 10 different APIs which you have developed for open uh, for this API, open weather API, right? So if you decide to change either your city uh, value, right? Or you decide to change the token value, then you need to change that in all those 10 APIs or 20 APIs which you have developed, right? So that's not a tedious task, right? So it, you can make it more easier by just replacing this values with parameters, right? So whenever you use that parameter and you just need to change that in one place, not at 10 different places. So that's the reusability is one of the major advantages of using variables, right? So your API then becomes reusable, okay? Then uh, we'll also look at uh, later um, how you can use different environments to have different variables and then depending on your environment your variable value changes right so that's another advantage but we'll be looking at uh, our videos where we'll be talking about more about environments right so what are the pieces of this api which can be replaced as a variable right so the parameters obviously uh, this looks a good candidate to be replaced with variables because they should be changed at a later point of time in different API requests, right? And they, they are kind of reusable parameters for this particular API. So they are good candidates for uh, replacing these values with parameters, right? Another um, reusable part of this API could be the base URL, right? So this is the your base URL and then um, remaining things will change in your URL, but this is going to pretty much remain the same, okay? So talking about how you can change, what are the advantages of um, 
variables like so there are different variable scopes uh, in postman and one of them is the global variables right so when you click on this i icon here right so it shows you two types of variables one is environment and one is globals right so global variables are by the the name suggests it right so the variables are global in nature that means these variables are available throughout your api collections apis requests everywhere right so if you define any variable as global it will be available throughout your workspace without any restrictions right environment uh, these are only available to that particular environment right so We'll talk more about this, but to just to give a brief overview, if you have different environments like dev, prod, UAT, you can have three different values for that same variable. And depending on the environment, then you can use those values, right? So as we are talking about global variables, so let's um, go ahead and add a global variable, right? So when I edit that section, it takes me to this globals, right? And here I can add as many uh, variables as I want. So what we can do is let's copy this one. Uh, first, let's take this base URL and make it a variable, right? So let's go back to our environment, sorry, global variables. And here I'm going to declare my first value, which is base URL, right? And this is my base URL. Now, another important thing to note here is there are two types of values, right? For variables, one is initial value, one is current value. Now, what's the difference between these two, right? So if you're working on a team environment or a workspace, team workspace, right? So if you are declaring your value, an initial value, then these values will be available across your collections for your team members with whom you are sharing these collections as well right so whatever you are declaring these values in your apis or collections uh, it will be available for others as well if you are declaring it in initial value if you are declaring it just in your current value then this is only available for you and even if you share this um, api with anyone else, they are not able to access uh, access this value. Now, why they have made this way? This is just to uh, keep your um, kind of secret secret keys or some other important values secure, right? So if you don't want to share any particular variable with their value, you just want to share the variable, then you should de define it in current value, not in initial value. So Please take note of that, right? If I declare something on the initial value, it will also be reflected in the current value, right? So go ahead and click save, right? And now we can close it. Now, if I click on this global variable, you will see that's a base URL, right? Uh, now we have declared a variable, but we haven't used this in our URL, okay? So how do you use that? Now, I'm going to delete this value here. And in Postman, how do you define a variable? So it starts with curly braces and it ends with curly braces, okay? But the difference is there are two curly braces, both at start and end. So whenever you see there are two curly braces at the beginning and end, that means it indicates it's a variable in Postman. So remember that. Now, if I type base URL, right? And you will see it is automatically identified by Postman. It's a variable and it's a global variable. And it is also showing its scope and its current value, right? So it has uh, resolved this particular variable. So that's how you replace your particular value with a variable, right? So keep it inside curly braces. Now, Let's uh, also have these variables inside global. So let's have our app ID. 
here we will have this value and then we will have another parameter which is q and we can have here london right okay so we have got okay um just let me edit this so that i can give it a proper name here so i will call it city and this i can call it token right so you can easily identify uh, what's the variable so let's replace these values with these variables so city and then i replace this with token right now you can see it's all um automatically uh, replaced by that value wherever it is used right so in params it is already replaced in url we have replaced all our static values so and whenever we kind of use another get api we can use these values right so since we have now replaced these variables let's go ahead and send this request again and we'll see whether the result is similar or not right so as you can see we get the same results so there is no difference it's only thing which has changed is we have optimized our api like we have replaced all the static variables uh, with actual static values with actual variables right now how do you choose the variable scope right so it depends on you um generally you should not declare a token on a global variable right because then it will be available across everywhere in every collection in every api so something like token city um and so it should be uh, mostly be um, chosen for a particular environment right because the city could be different for a different environment the url could be different for any particular environment right so it's depends on you how you want to define your variables but global variables should be only used when you are experimenting something like uh, you are just running some api uh, you're not working on any particular collection right so just to give a brief idea of how many variable scopes are present in uh, postman so we already saw the global scope which is available across the uh, across everywhere in postman workspace then there is the next scope which is the environment variables right so it's available within the same environment okay now we'll see how we can create different environments and use that in our next video and then there is collections so collection variables so if i have a collection i can add certain variables there and it will be available across those collections and then uh, you can also have data variables right so if you are using some external data source for running your collection you can re replace uh, you can use data variables right and then there are uh, local variables which can be defined in pre-request script or tests right so these variables will be um, these are temporary variables which are only available while you run your particular scripts right apis so these are the different variable scopes now uh, we will look at each and every scope in our coming videos so but this is how you can use a global variable how you can add a global variable and replace it in your url and parameters right so i think we covered um, all parts of the global variables i hope it was clear and if you have any questions or feedback please leave this um, on the video and i will get back to you with answers finally if you are pretty new to our channel please subscribe to our youtube channel qs script right you can hit the subscribe button at the bottom of this video or you can also search us on youtube just type qs script and subscribe to our channel this will help you to get notified every time we add a new video on postman or any other automation tool so see you in the next video.